I'm going to cover a feature I seldom find useful and another I find incredibly useful. Let's start with the one that I don't like that much or really don't need. It's not that I don't like it, I guess. And we're going to go into security, type in admin, one, two, three, four. And it's right over here called file access. This is used for multi file solutions. Most of the files or solutions you're going to create probably will be one file. It's to your benefit to create a single file solution. It's easier to work on. You don't have to switch around to different files to go to different tables and set up different relationships and things like that. It's easier to work in a single file. That's what most solutions should be produced as. But if you're in a large corporate environment, you may have a sales database solution, a marketing one, one for production, and they may share some information between each other. So you may need to say, okay, well, only these sales, marketing, and production can access each other. So what do you do? You authorize them. You go ahead and place them in here, authorize them, and most likely require full access privileges to use references to the file because you want to really protect it. And you can't really fool this feature because even if you rename another file to be the same name as one of the ones that's authorized, that's not going to be good enough. Even an older version of FileMaker won't be able to fool this feature if you're, let's say, using something before it existed. So you don't have to worry about it. It works perfectly. It's just that I seldom use it, so I'm not really going to cover it. You hopefully understand it. It's pretty simple to go ahead and, and put it together. You don't have to do no much at all. It's, it's, it's easy. So um, that's enough on that particular topic. Now on to one that I really find useful during my development, which is the re-login script step. If we go in here and go to our script, uh, scripts here and add a new one called re-login, and then do the re-login script step, this is really helpful. I simply do this, nothing else. You don't have to, you could come in here and put an account name and a password in here, but I don't want to. And then I'm gonna make it available as a developer feature underneath the menus. In fact, I really don't want it to be inside of this folder, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it outside, even though it's normally where I'd put it, it'd be in the developer folder, because I wanna see it right on the first level in my scripts, be easy to access it. So we'll go ahead and save that, and let's see what happens here. We've got re-login. I go and type in John Mark Osborne, one, two, three, four, Look how fast that was. Didn't have to close the file, didn't have to open it. It really made my life much easier. We definitely are in limited access, as you can tell, because we can't get into script workspace. We have these, uh, we don't have the menus because we didn't run the open script. So if you want to, what you can do is add in the open script on that. All depends on what you're doing. So it would be a simple thing, just come in here to your re-login put in a perform script, open, and it'll take a little bit longer to open, but it'll at least set up your menus the way you want them if you do, um, and then you can kind of switch it on and off whenever you want, just disable it uh, using the keyboard command or coming up here and coming in and always got to remember where it is, enable, disable. I always do forget because I'm always using the keyboard command, it's so helpful, it's a, I don't even know what it is on Windows, but it's a command uh, question mark or should I say forward slash uh, will turn it on and off and that's the best way to do it so there's a, uh, a feature I don't find very useful which is the file access although it could be useful to some uh, but another one that I find will save me a ton of time with testing is being able to go back and forth between different access levels so I can say does this script work the way I thought it would because I can tell you right now that a lot of my issues come when I'm developing is that I think that I developed it correctly but I've only tested it with full access and I I see a user comes back and says this doesn't work for me oh you know what I forgot to give you you know the ability to create records or who knows what whatever the the problem is and so being able to switch back and forth quickly and test can really make you ship a better product in the first place rather than having to get a lot of user complaints.